be doing six signs and the timestamp is right rated before if you wanted the main reading or spirit chat they're up here in the playlist just find that and navigate straight to it if you wanted the extended it's in the description box below and i highly recommend it for all leos you are not going to believe what's coming to you it's being divinely guided by the archangel raphael by the heart chakra and it is just spooky how things came out just perfectly. I see that there is absolutely a soulmate connection in your future and you're going to be in your power seat. I mean, it is just, uh, you need to watch this. It's, you, you need it honestly trust me um, but this is your relationship compatibility with an Aries your relationship and compatibility with Taurus your relationship Leo's relationship and compatibility with Gemini Leo's relationship and compatibility with cancer Leo's relationship and compatibility with Leo Leo's relationship and compatibility with Virgo if you wanted the other six signs, that's in another video. It's in the playlist above. Thank you. Hello, Archangel Raphael. Thank you so much for gracing this today. Um, There's two other cards here. We absolutely have a soulmate connection. Absolutely. This is a beautiful marriage, a beautiful harmony. I do see, I do see here. Absolutely, there's a new relationship. A soulmate is on its way. A soulmate, a soulmate is here. They're on their way. Welcome. Today we're going to be picking from the Vintage Erotic Tarot. We're going to be doing the signs in order. This is your relationship and compatibility with all 12 signs in the month of November. The fool at the beginning of her journey has no clue that she is one, but gets a glimpse of the glimpse of the extent of her folly by the end, and that realization sparks the need to begin the journey again, to learn more of what she doesn't know and may never be able to fully grasp. Leo's dealing with an Aries. One card if Leo's dealing with an Aries, please. One card if Leo's dealing with an Aries, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, I see that you're not losing any sleep over this. You know, there was some painful lessons that you learned. Yes. Yes, we get it. There were definitely some painful lessons, but you're not going to lose any sleep. I see you going into a new phase in your life, starting a new journey. You're almost there. You've almost completed the cycle. And... I feel like you're not sweating the small stuff. You're, you are getting perspective here. You just realized you're not going to sweat the small stuff. Okay, if Leo is dealing, if Leo is dealing with a Taurus, one card if Leo is dealing with a Taurus, please. One card, okay, thank you. So we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Cups came out here in the upright. This is the same card. Right here, this is the same card. Um, but it comes in the upright in the future. 
But with a Taurus, I see that you're not looking back here. You know, this is just a minor day-to-day -day life event. This is a, it's not even a cycle. I feel like there's plenty of room to grow, but I feel like you might be a little stuck in the past with a Taurus, a, a little unrealistic. A little unrealistic. There are some emotions there, but... Yeah, I mean, look. That one's in the past. You, you need to go forward. You need to move forward. You can't keep holding on to this. You can't keep holding on to this. You're, you're not allowing each other to grow. It's too outside of your element. Um, it, there, there's too much water here. And you're fire. Alright, if Leo is dealing with a Gemini. One card if Leo is dealing with a Gemini. One card if Leo is dealing with, okay, two. I'll take two. So we have the Five of Pentacles, and then we have the Three of Cups. This makes a really good couple, but I see that there's three people in this picture. There's two over here. I do see a couple over here. Is that a snake? No. It's like she's being dragged. I feel like she's being dragged here. She's being pulled by her hair, like a caveman. It feels like a caveman, like, oh, you're mine. I'm going to take you to my castle and do whatever I want. You know, together this makes a really good couple. But with your energies, this is very conflicting because this is earth. Earth and air don't get along at all. And then we have water and water and fire don't get along at all. So I feel like this is you and this is them. Very outside of your element. And then this person, I mean, there's a lot of friends here. There's a lot of celebrations. I feel like this one's an oddball out. Three's a crowd. This one doesn't fit in. These two match each other a lot better. Yeah, these two match each other a lot better. And this just feels like there's a lot of conflict. Like, I feel left out in the cold. I feel, like, impoverished. It, it just, it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. There, there's too much conflict here. This is warm color. This is ice cold. This is ice cold. This is a little bit warmer. This sees it as a couple. This one really doesn't. Both of these are just minor day-to-day -day things. This is stability. This is emotion. This could have been what you took some time out to introspect about. What's a little bit unstable presently that you're going to be looking back at. I do see that this does flow. All right, if Leo is dealing with a Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. If Leo is dealing with a Cancer, one, okay, two. Why are we doing two? All right, so Cancer's right here, and Cancer's very out. So this is Cancer's power card. This is their power card. This is the chariot. This is a major arcana card. Cancer sees this as a major life event that isn't going anywhere. It, it feels like they, they've lost control here. There's a lack of direction, and there's emotional outbursts. And then I see that you see this as, well, this is also Cancer's energy. I see Cancer b both places. Um, I see the, the Two of Cups. I do see this as a soulmate connection. 
You know, Leo is the sun and Cancer is the moon. You need the moon in order to have the sun. You balance each other out. You balance each other out. And you're major. Like, Earth could not survive with both Leo and Cancer without both the sun and the moon. Life could not exist on this planet. Nothing else matters but that. I see this as a soulmate connection, but you feel like you've lost control. All right. If Leo is dealing with another Leo, one card if Leo is dealing with another Leo, please. Oops. Two. This is dark. This is very dark. We have the witch, and then we have the queen of wands. I see that you're coming out of toxicity. Um, I see you going forward here. You're moving forward. You're both moving forward here. I see there were some secrets and lies in the past, but you know, this is a very beautiful person. This is a very attractive couple, very influential. And very intuitive and psychically aware. I feel like there's a castle. And yeah, this storm came in. This storm came in and struck your castle. It happens in the future. Be careful. Be careful. It looks like it's on fire. It looks like there could potentially be a tower moment where something changes. Yeah, it feels like there could be a power. Yeah. There's a power struggle here, definitely. But you know what? This is, a, this is a person. This is somebody who brings people together. This is somebody who people look up to that um, could run a business in our sleep. And then this is a major arcana card. It's the devil or the magician. Uh, it could, I mean, I feel like you're able to manifest here. You're unable to manifest. You're unable to manifest, but you're coming out of toxicity. You're unable to manifest, but you're coming out of toxicity. All right, if Leo is dealing with a Virgo, one card if Leo is dealing with a Virgo, Two. I'm going to start doing two for all of them. I mean, it makes more sense because it is a couple. It does make more sense. Okay, so we have the six of pentacles in the reverse, and we also have the seven of cups in the reverse. This is not, I mean, this is, this is a good couple, but there's some issues. This person's very materialistic and very cold. And this person is like looking at this person and I don't, I feel like there's a lot of selfishness here. One-sided charity. One person's giving too much. One person's taking. This is a give-take relationship. And then over here, I see that there's like um, illusions, there's temptations. You don't want to hear, you don't want to hear things. I, I don't feel, I feel like the, this could grow. If this was in the upright, this would be really good. You would complete each other. We have six and seven, but they're both in the reverse. They're both in the reverse. So I feel like there's a lack of growth here. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you'd like to support and help this channel, please like, comment, um, and share this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. My name's Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Hello, Archangel Raphael. Thank you so much for gracing this today um there's two other cards here 
We absolutely have a soulmate connection. Absolutely. This is a beautiful marriage, a beautiful harmony. I do see, I do see here. Absolutely, there's a new relationship. A soulmate is on its way. A soulmate, a soulmate is here. They're on their way. 